if you fulfill any of your Amazon orders yourself via Merchant Fulfilled, do you offer free shipping? I certainly do, and in this video, we're going to talk about my free shipping templates. My name is Manny, and this is Manny's Book Bag. What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video. I recently uploaded a video explaining when it is that I merchant fulfill an item versus shipping into FBA. Less than 1% of all of my orders are merchant fulfilled. Almost everything that I sell on Amazon is sold via their FBA program. A lot of you responded really well to that video. Some of you noticed in that video that I told you that when I merchant fulfill I use free shipping to gain an advantage. Now free shipping does a couple of really good things for me. Not only is it an added value to someone that is not a prime buyer, but when someone's really shopping around for a deal and they click on that free shipping tab, my offer is still going to show up. So what it really is is another way of filtering out my competing merchant fulfilled offers and focusing on the free shipping offers. Another luxury that this is going to afford me is that when someone does search for free shipping offers on a very fast moving item, I can completely ignore the other merchant fulfilled offers and I can bring my price just under the lowest FBA offer and I often still get that sale. Some of you wondered if I would be willing to share my shipping template with you and that's exactly what I'm going to do for you now. What I want to do is take you onto my computer screen and show you exactly how I've got my shipping templates set up. Now I will say I'm not an expert on Merchant Fulfilled and setting up these templates, but this template really works well for me and it also ensures that I don't lose money on priority mail offers as well. If you see anything in these templates that I may want to consider doing a little differently, go ahead and put down in your comments below. I always look forward to hearing what other folks are doing. But enough of that, let's show you what we got going on. All right, folks, here we are. I am in my Seller Central, and I am in Shipping Settings. Uh, to get here, what you're going to want to do is from your main page in Seller Central, in the top right corner, you'll want to click on Settings. And underneath that Settings menu, simply click on Shipping Settings. And that's going to bring you to what the default Amazon template looks like right here. Now to change your settings, all you have to do is come over here to the right and click Edit Template. And now you're going to be able to edit this template and change it so that you can put free shipping where it is that you want it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how my settings look and how I differentiate between economy shipping, standard shipping, as well as your priority and your two-day shippings. Do I also offer free priority or two day? No, I don't. And you'll see where it is that you could put different values for those shipping options. First things first, over here we are on the default Amazon template. And when it comes to the rate model that we're looking at, it's per item. And what this means right here is that each shipping option is going to have a base shipping fee per order. And it's going to have an additional fee per pound of the item. This will come in particularly handy if you sell any bulkier or heavier items than one pound. And if you're charging shipping, that's actually there to make sure that you don't lose money on your heavier items. So here's how I have it set up. First of all, on the domestic shipping side, you're going to notice that economy is free economy. I have it checked off. And your regions here, pay attention to your regions. This will tell you where it is that you're offering that free economy shipping. Now in my case, we're looking at the lower 48 states here for region. The shipping time on these is going to be 5 to 10 days. And keep, bear in mind, you can adjust that. I put 5 to 10 days as mine because I do sell a lot of books and CDs. So what I typically would be looking to do is ship these media mail. If you're not shipping media and you're going first class, you're likely going to click 3 to 5 or 4 to 8 days to also include whatever your handling time is. You'll also notice that over here under the shipping fee, since I am offering free shipping, my shipping fee is $0 per order, $0 per pound. It's going to be free of charge. If I wanted to remove this, I would just hit delete right here and this would be gone. 
Alrighty, folks. Now, up next, we've got standard shipping. And standard shipping, for me, is going to be almost identical to medium mail. Uh, I will continue on the lower 48 to offer free shipping and no additional per pound fee. Uh, but you're also going to notice that I keep that at 5 to 10 days. Now, for standard shipping, I also open up the APO addresses. I open up Alaska, Hawaii. And I also open up the territories, Guam, Samoa, Puerto Rico. While I do offer free shipping uh, to the lower 48, I do charge to send to these. And you're also going to notice to protect my handling time and promise times, instead of going 5 to 10 days on these, to avoid any complications at all, I do extend the time on these. And just so you see here, you're, you can actually uh, make this... Uh, whatever it is you'd like, uh, you can go as two to three days, you can go to the 714 like I did, or you can go even longer. As a matter of fact, when it comes to the APO addresses, because I don't know where they're going to be going, I do make a 14 to 28 day promise time on that. And that's really the thing. When you make these templates, you should really weigh some of the things that maybe you can't control. If that APO is halfway around the world. Uh, even though it is going to be treated like an American address, you, you really want to make sure that you cover yourself and you protect your metrics. So I make this one my longest time on my entire template. Now between the free economy and the standard shipping, that really is the majority of the things that I'll be shipping. Uh, even with the seasonal times of the year where I'll pretty much merchant fulfill anything. Now the next option that we have is expedited shipping. This is essentially what we understand to be something like priority mail, for example. I offer expedited shipping, but you're also going to notice that in this premium type of shipping, I do not offer free shipping for this. This will come up most often during the holidays as the holiday date approaches and people need to uh, rush their orders so that they arrive on time. Starting with the lower 48 states, you will see that I have entered a 2 to 4 day shipping time and $12.99 per order with $0.99 cents per pound. I have not had these values here result in a loss on shipping. Um, I am either very lucky or this is a good solid quantity to have here. The 2 to 4 days is pretty standard for me, but you will notice that to protect myself by protecting my metrics, my profitability, uh, the shipping time that I have put down for Alaska, Hawaii, APO addresses, and territories is slightly higher. I put three to five days here, and this has been really good in having things arrive on time, if not early. You will also notice that I am not going to charge $12.99 per order. This is premium shipping for me, and my shipping is $24.99 plus the $0.99. Cents for all three of those territories there. That has also worked out really well and I've not had any losses as a result of that. Now if you're a seller that is in good standing and you have shipped a minimum of 10 orders in the last 30 days, Amazon will also send you a notification that you become eligible to offer two-day delivery. Two-day delivery is basically what we know to be next day delivery because the day that you receive the order is day number one. Now I only offer next day for the lower 48 states and what you will notice here is that uh, your delivery time is not something that you can change on that. That's not up for discussion. My buyers that require next day would be paying $29.99 per order plus $2.50 per pound. I would encourage you to make that fee something like this because of the cost associated and believe it or not, you're not really making money on this shipping. Now the shipping fee that I have set up is $29.99 per order plus $2.50 per pound and this is also a really good value to put in to make sure that you don't lose money on this. It is priced significantly higher. Uh, I have had orders that are in the high 20s where this was very close, where I may have actually lost a little bit. But overall, when you're approaching the holiday season, you should really be asking for a higher price on your item anyway, since not a lot of people are gonna have this as an option and people absolutely need that item shipped out that day. Now, usually around the time that I've got these all set up, uh, I'm actually going crazy. Around the holiday season, uh, 
after Thanksgiving, we're going into Q4 and Christmas time. Uh, the last thing that I personally don't want to mess with, I don't want to mess with international shipping, so I don't have any of that turned on. I keep it to just U.S. addresses, including Alaska, Hawaii, and territories. And then when you're all done and you've got it set up the way you want, all you have to do is hit save, and you're all set. Now, this shipping template, it works for me really well. Uh, it really helps to make sure that I'm not losing money on the shipping if you go too low on these prices it is very possible to lose all of your profit if not actually lose money on the item just on your shipping so be really careful and if you're not sure start high and work your way down that's all for today's video folks if you like this video if you want me to make more videos like this one please remember to share like and subscribe to support the channel if you have not liked this video yet please smash that like button and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and tap on that book bag up there on the right. And while you're in there, make sure you hit the bell notifications also. That's going to set you up with the notifications that let you know when new videos drop. Until next time, let's go make some money.